morning. My name is Samantha, aka Sam. I'm the Housing Recovery Program Manager, and we have LaShonda Halbert, Housing Recovery Associate. Yes, we are a part of the team for Housing Recovery. Um, our jobs consist of mainly uh, assisting homeowners who live at or below, mostly below the median income, in rehabbing their properties. And I can say that the need for that on the Mississippi Gulf Coast is huge, huge. And LaShonda's like the front of the house. She does the intake process, so she meets with these clients before any of us do, uh, do and um, she's really good at that. Yes, I make sure that the application is filled out completely correctly and as well as the documents they bring in that meets the requirements. What's the best way to get in contact with Back Bay Mission and, and how does that process go? It, well, it's very, actually it's a simple process. It's as simple as just picking up the phone and making contact. Um, and then once that happens, we ask a few questions on that call just to see if they meet some of the criteria. And if so, being the homeowner is the main thing and not just being the homeowner but being listed on the deed as such so we don't work on airship properties which is a huge thing here in, in um on the coast is where you know mom and dad left the property to the children and it's just been that way ever since so unfortunately we're unable to work on those properties but it's a simple phone call we set up an interview and they come in bring documentations and then there's a deeper dive into um, the qualifications to make sure or verification make sure they meet that awesome yeah. uh, so how, how many houses would you say back bay mission touched last year in one way or another Ooh. that's a good question kevin weatherization first 493 in about nine months yes mm -hmm. as far as rehab we did about 30 in the year of 2023 and as for roofs we did 49 that's how many houses we touched in a year. And I can say all of that work was like tossing a rock in a pond, you know, the ripple effect we talked about. It goes so f much further than us just um, affecting the homeowner. We have um, contractors that, have, that take part in that. We have our staff here that takes part in that. We have the banks that take part in that. So it's a lot of people involved and it changes lives for more than just the homeowners. With that amount of houses we touched last year, there was a lot of hiring that took place. Yes. People attained jobs during that period. So it's huge. It's bigger than just what we see. If I'm watching this video and I'm hearing about all this awesome work, how can I get involved? What, what are some ways that I can get involved as just a regular person? You can contact Back Bay Mission uh, about our volunteer program because I like to say the volunteers are the heartbeat of our program. We couldn't do what we do in this program or at the mission without volunteers. So as a regular person, that would be the first and the biggest thing you could do is just show up and uh, find a place to volunteer. Most of them um, for this program, because our volunteers are from other parts of the state, as far as the mission, we allow um, volunteers locally but not so much for this program um, so they come from all parts of the United States which is huge we have a map here that shows all of the different locations of where our volunteers have come from over the years well um, our main goal here is try to stand on our mission statement and um, that's our goal here every day is to seek justice, walk humbly, um, strengthen neighborhoods, and also provide sustainability for every life that we touch. Yes. Shout out Back Bay Mission staff. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on the couch.